A carbon neutral energy supply will heavily rely on the use of solar energy in different forms. Photovoltaics, that is the generation of electricity from solar cells, will be a cornerstone. The production and deployment of solar panels have soared during the past 20 years. Photovoltaics now accounts for 60% of the global increase in renewable energy. During the production of solar panels, large resource flows are generated, which currently end up as waste. The PV value chain starts with the carbon thermal reduction of natural quartz, achieving a purity of 99%. The material later then is purified by the so-called Siemens process and achieves a purity of at least 6N. 66% of silicon is produced in China and only 6% in Europe. The high purity silicon is made into cylindrical ingots in the so-called Chorhalski process, where silicon is melted in a fused quartz crucible, from which the ingot is pulled out slowly. The ingots are cut into very thin wafers, which are subsequently processed to solar cells. During cutting, around 35% of the silicon is lost as silicon curve. High purity isostatic graphite is used for high temperature parts of the silicon melting and crystallization furnace with a lifetime of only a few months. The crucible where silicon is melted during the ingot production is made of fused quartz. The crucible breaks after cooldown and cannot be reused. Utilizing the circular potential of these waste streams, 10 megatons of silicon, 1.2 megatons of quartz and 0.6 megatons of graphite could be unlocked by 2050 as secondary raw materials. To tackle these issues, the project ICARUS, funded by the European Union, will turn upstream process waste into secondary raw materials. The project will develop processing routes to convert silicon curve, quartz and graphite waste into a resource. This will increase the European energy and material self-sufficiency. The objectives are to recover more than 95% of the waste streams from ingot and wafer manufacturing, which is silicon curve, quartz crucibles, and graphite from the furnace installations to scale up modular solutions to refine these waste streams and develop industrial symbiosis by providing our material to high-end applications from thermoelectric generators to aluminium silicon alloys. To support these ambitious objectives, Icarus gathers the leaders from the photovoltaic industry all around Europe and is coordinated by Sintef with six industrials, six SMEs, three research and technology organizations and two universities. All partners are present in the value chain of the project. Concerning the supply of materials, the project has begun with the study of the process modification to improve purity of waste products and a mapping of internal and external resources. Those two tasks allow the collection of raw materials such as silicon curve, silica or graphite. The collection and processing part of the project is distributed among four pilots. During pilot A, Resitec will collect and process the waste material and deliver it for final applications to the end-user group Granges, Marelli, Cidetec, SGL Carbon and Fiven, and for further refining to the industrial pilots. Concerning pilot B, Northern Silicon IS will produce silicon by a pyrometallurgical process at a much better quality and lower price than conventional processes by substituting primary through secondary raw materials. During pilot C, Rosy will scale up the silicon treatment capacity and improve the quality of their granular silicon products in photovoltaic applications. In addition, 
Rosie will upscale an efficient recycling of the cutting fluid from wafer sewing with a recycling rate of more than 80%, which will reduce wafer manufacturing costs. And finally, Lux Chemtech will demonstrate the capacity for a technology silicon waste to materials. Among other things, they will produce hydrogen from water and curve during pilot D. Applications will vary depending on the purity. Out of the four pilots, three are dedicated to refining silicon, in addition to graphite and silica for pilot A, at different purities such as 8N or 6N+. Pilot D, silicon waste to material, focuses on transforming silicon curve into hydrogen, silica and silicate full-value industrial commodities. Six external high-end applications are foreseen. Photovoltaic industry, thermoelectric modules and generators for the automotive industry, silicon aluminium alloys for heat exchangers, graphite products for high temperature applications, lithium ion batteries, silicon carbide fines. ICARUS is a very ambitious project with European leaders from the silicon PV industry. It started a year ago and some results are already here. If you want to learn more about the project, feel free to check our website and as well as our LinkedIn account.